the the one farmer guy the head farmer the guys that bought my grandpa's farm so the land that's around what i call the farm we own five acres. my dad owns five acres of his family farm so when i talk about the farm i'm talking about our five acres but the guys that bought it or the guy that actually bought it he was out walking a wheat field a couple years ago and he stopped for some reason he looked down and laying right in front of him was the biggest cottonmouth snake he'd ever seen and uh, he just kind of thought to himself for a second he's like i have somewhere else i need to be right now and he just slowly backed up and once he turned around he said he just made a beeline for his truck that was that he said it was massive though oh eat anything from an earthworm to a rabbit they could eat the danger noodles yes if they can catch it or dig it they'll eat it okay I got you. Then I'm all on board for the badgers. They can, you know, eat the danger noodles for me. Oh, man. Yeah, he's like, nah, I don't want to die today. I got to go uh, wash my beard. <laughs> the man doesn't have a beard. <laughs> he's like, I got to grow, go and grow a beard so I can wash my beard. Because he was in the middle of a field with nothing. He didn't have a shovel with him or a like, garden hoe or anything. He was just a farmer out walking in a wheat field, you know, with nothing to help him. And he's like, yeah, I, I could have died that day. <laughs> and he was probably three-quarter of a mile away from his truck. And, like, from another person, he was probably a mile or better, yeah, from a person. So, like... Nobody's going to see him, you know, like if you would happen to go down in a field, nobody's going to see you even in a wheat field and you're that far away from people and that far away from roads. Like there were no roads anywhere there either. He left his straightener on at home, obviously. <laughs> yes. Yes, he did. Well, what he actually said, I can't say on stream because, well, he almost needed a new pair of pants. We'll just say that much. Good thing he knew how to spot it. No, it was like six inches in front of his foot. He just so happened to stop for a second to look around the field, and he kind of heard a noise at his foot. And he looked down, and it was literally right at his foot, all coiled up, ready to go. So. Yeah, he, he's lucky. <laughs> in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in the truck. I was out in the middle of a wheat field. I think now he carries uh, like a shovel or, or something with him for personal protection, you know? Something to, to help with that situation, you know? He heard his wife ringing the bell. He was like eight miles away from his wife at the time, Mickey. <laughs> but yeah, he heard it. <laughs> he had to go. <laughs> yeah, he got lucky he didn't step on it because like one more step forward, he would have stepped on it. So... Hope he bought a lottery ticket. Hopefully. I don't think he did, but he's one of the nicest people I know, by the way. I, I'm very happy that I didn't want them to sell the farm after my grandpa died in 2005. Um, definitely did not want the farm to leave the family, but they, they picked like the, the best people. Super nice family. It's two brothers that farm together and then between them, they have three sons. So there's five of them total. They all farm. They're all in 100% into farming. They're never going to, like, sell land for houses. Like, they're farmers, and that's what they do. And it's, they're awesome. So, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> badgers will eat squirrels. Okay. Interesting. Need some badgers here in town, then. The squirrels be evil. They're little jerks. They're little little rat jerks, you know? I'm saying. They are. Yeah, they chew on everything. Oh, they're horrible, yeah. They're horrible. The worst is when you have, like, tomato plants and they take one bite. Well, they're just going for water is all they're trying to do. So you can put out water for them and that should help. But it's very annoying. They ruin all your tomatoes, you know? I'm saying. Very, very, very annoying. 
but part of life. Some said he had Godzilla. Why can't farm some have crop destroyers? I mean, you can destroy your crops and farm some. You just turn crop destruction on. <laughs> We're talking about real life with this farmer, by the way, and that snake. That That's something that happened. And when he told us the story, boy, it was sure funny because it didn't happen to me. One of the first memories I have of seeing a snake hit the farm, by the way, chat, because we never had snakes when I was like a kid because there were always cats at the farm and we never, never really had a problem with snakes and we still don't have a problem with snakes. You know, we see maybe 10 a year, if that, and usually we get them, um, but it maybe not, not that many. That one day was seven, but that was a weird year. Um, but I walked in our shed and our shed, uh, like on the doors, there's these hooks that come out and, you know, hold the door shut. And on the particular one door, the, the hook is about eight or 10 inches off the ground. So I walk in the shed and it was back before we had all the lights in the shed that we have now. And I reached down to grab that hook. And right as I touched the hook, I realized there is a black snake laying on the ground, literally six inches in front of my foot, all curled up ready to say hi and I like re you know was reaching over it to grab this hook basically right well I'm pretty sure my dad thought I was a girl that day because the way I screamed and ran out of the shed <laughs> oh yeah squirrels really like bird feeders I went flying yeah that was the day I almost filled my pants yeah actually not gonna lie I, uh, I saw that snake and I screeched and went flying out of the shed at 90 miles an hour. And dad was over like turning the pump on or something. And I'm yelling for him and he looks out and he's like, what is wrong with you? And I was like, there's a snake. We ended up not getting it either, which was really sad. It got away, but I think like two weeks later, I got it with the lawnmower. I got my revenge on that snake eventually. Oh, it was terrible though. I screeched. <laughs> That was one of those where, like, in a TV show, as they, like, zoom out and you can keep hearing it, you know? That was me that day. <laughs> it was bad, Chad. It was so bad. Yeah. All right. Up north. Sarge, how, uh, I assume you're up north, right? Uh, oh, about to be. Okay. okay. All three of us are heading that way then. Cool. We'll knock that out in no time. We'll just run it east-west and suffer with the hill. He wasn't saying hi, he was saying bye, yeah. I actually tried to shoot at that snake and dad missed. <laughs> we were shooting a snake inside of our shed. I know it was smart chat. <laughs> uh, it was only a 22, it wouldn't hurt, you know, mess things up that bad. Oh no, 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 no. Almost had an incident chat. And then there was a time chat where we had a critter getting in our shed. And so we set a live trap. You guys all know what a live trap is, I'm assuming, or a lot of you do. Mm -hmm. So we set it right next to the bucket of our tractor and we drove a post in the ground. So that like if it was a raccoon, it couldn't flip the trap over and get out. Because that, that's something raccoons will do. So... We sent this trap and we happened to be going down there the next day. It was like my mom, my one brother and I, we went down there for some reason. And again, this was before we have all the lights in the shed that we have now. So. Yeah, Phil was source tracks. I almost made the highlight really. Yeah, you're not wrong. The train on here goes too slow though, to be honest, to really make like good highlight reels here. It, it's a little slow, uh, but Phil source tracks. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, but I walk in the shed and I'm like, oh, something's in the trap. I couldn't see what it was. I walk up and I kind of nudge the trap with my foot to make sure the critter was, you know, it was still alive. Because we definitely didn't want it to, like, it, whatever. I just wanted to make sure, you know. Live traps are the opposite of dead traps, everyone. <laughs> yes, they are. So I nudged the trap with my foot and I was like, okay, it's moving. We'll, we'll be fine. Dad and I will come back 
that evening to take care of it. You know, the, the thing you have to do on a farm sometimes. You have to do it, you know? Well, we go in with flashlights at night and we realize that it's a skunk sitting in the trap. Meanwhile, you remember earlier in the day, I nudged the trap with my foot and there was an alive skunk in the trap. So luckily he didn't spray me and somehow we ended up hooking a chain onto the, onto the trap like a 20 foot chain and we used the chain to to drag the trap outside because we did not want to do that inside of our shed for obvious reasons if you know you know and uh yeah it was yeah someone gets the tomato juice luckily i mean it did spray of course but luckily it wasn't in the uh it wasn't in the shed, you know? <laughs> that would have been awful. So. How do you increase the nitrogen levels? So you... Well, there's three different ways. You could spray liquid fertilizer. Uh, are you mean like on this, this thing? Like on this score? This score is kind of mostly... It seems like to increase this nitrogen... It's mostly after harvest that increases it because it's happy that you've used it. Uh, but if you're talking about just like on here, like you're planting and you need more nitrogen, uh, each crop uses its own level of nitrogen. So honestly, I would just fertilize with your planter, cedar, whatever. Uh, if that doesn't work, I would do it after you plant and then you should have um, a variable rate based on your soil types and stuff, lightning. Um, but either pellet or liquid, basically. That makes sense? I don't know if it does. How did the trap not scare the steak out of it? I don't know. And I'm assuming he didn't spray me when I went in there because it was the middle of the day and he was sleeping. And I didn't, like, I just barely nudged the trap enough to see it move. And then I was like, okay, I don't need to be in the shed anymore, you know? But I couldn't tell what it was because it was so bright outside, walked in the shed. Back in the day, our shed only had two light bulbs in it. Two, like, 60-watt light bulbs, so it was super dark in there all the time. Uh, now, of course, we have lights everywhere, but back in those days, it was really dark in there. Really, really, really dark. So, it, uh, yeah, I got lucky. Now, we did have a skunk one time that we were taking care of, you know, doing our thing. And it sprayed bad. It sprayed so bad. Middle of the day, and it just... Oh, wow. Perfect GPS. It sprayed really bad, right? The neighbor comes over and goes, What are you guys doing over here? Oh, Sarge? Okay. You all right? Yeah. That was weird. A leg out? Yeah. Uh, it just dropped. Yeah, if he would have sprayed when he went into the trap, definitely I would have spelled it. Oh, it smelled. That spelled. It smelled. Yeah. There is a lot of memories that have to do with that shed, Emerald. Yeah. You want to see it? No, I don't have pictures of the shed that I can show you. I can show pictures of the house if you want to see that. The house that... Uh, used to be at the farm. I have those on a, in a folder on my PC. I don't have pictures of the shed. The center part of our shed was built in 1918, I can tell you that much. And then the the additions that were added were added like two different summers when my dad was a, a child. And when my, my grandpa and my uncle built one side one summer and the other side the other summer. But yeah, that, that shed does have a lot of memories, yeah. Uh, tied to it, for sure. Oh yeah. And even like more recent stuff, like all of our pumpkin days and stuff, uh, we throw a big party once a year and, well, before COVID, uh, we would always throw a big party and have people down to like pick pumpkins that we grow and, and stuff. And we always have like the food and everything inside that shed. There's 4th of July party stories that we uh, used to do, used to have 4th of July parties every year and always involve that shed too. Yeah, Lots of stories. I kind of want to throw a 4th of July party again, chat. Not this year, though. 
Because this year, there's wheat planted. Oh, that's an interesting sink time, Sarge. Okay. <laughs> Mickey and I were sitting right next to each other. <laughs> Going opposite directions with our, our plows. <laughs> that's funny. That's way funny. All right. That's weird you like that, though. That doesn't happen very often. No, I have no idea yeah. why it did. The shed that created Puma Plow. Um, I don't know if that shed created Puma Plow, but yeah, it has a lot of memories, though, for sure. Lots of memories with that shed. Yeah, need to replace some foundation under that shed. Otherwise, the shed's going to fall over one of these days. Uh, sandy soil and our foundation is maybe a foot in the ground. Maybe. And that's like original 1918 stuff. So definitely needs to be replaced. It's rolling real bad. So one of these days, the south end of that shed is just not going to be there because there's no foundation under it anymore. But we'll, I mean, then, yeah, the goal is to replace it someday. But yeah, that shed definitely needs some uh, needs some TLC. We want to keep it. Same thing with our garage. Our, our, we have a little garage, a single car garage that was built in 1918 as well. And uh, the theory I have with that sucker is we need to back a trailer in there and literally use the trailer and then just jack the garage up onto the trailer and then just drive the trailer away and then you can do whatever you want to do. Because right now it's like posts that are in the ground and they're all rotten. So want to almost pour like a foundation for that. The Great War saw that shed, yeah? Yeah. Definitely. So, and then I don't know what, how old the farmhouse was. We, we don't actually know uh, the farmhouse that my dad grew up in and stuff. Pour that down in 2005. That was uh, that was quite quite an adventure. Apparently, there's pictures from that day that uh, my one brother has that I need to get when we, when we tore it down. I had a sweet like mullet going to that that day. Not really a mullet, just I had long hair and you know with a hat it looks like a mullet, but it wasn't actually a mullet. I just know I was wearing a hat that day. I always wear a hat. So yeah, it was a good time. Back when the family used to like do stuff together, you know, we don't really do that anymore. But I was kind of thinking about a 4th of July next year could be fun. I just need to find somebody that can do like all the setting off of the fireworks. Cause I kind of just want to sit in a chair and watch gigantic wall. What's going on, man? How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Because that used to always be my job with the fireworks display was setting them off. And, well, you don't really get to watch them when you set them off, you know? But, yeah. Mullet John sounds like a new emote. Uh, hey, I, I, I was born in 87, okay? Mullets were definitely... Um, a thing of my childhood, okay? <laughs> I have a brother. I, Yeah, I have a brother that has a mullet right now. My brother lives in Georgia. So, fun story for you, chat, okay? My, my brother that lives in Georgia now. Hang on here. Oh, you missed most of Ghost Talk? Uh, well, it should be uh, VOD. It should be on their YouTube as well. Uh, gigantic. Should be on YouTube. You can watch it back on there if you want. I recommend it. She did a great job. Definitely watch it. Well, the hair must stick out a little farther on like the right side of this thing. <laughs> we don't hit going the other way. That's okay. But uh, fun story for you guys about a mullet, right? Okay. My brother that lives in Georgia, um, he grew out a mullet on purpose. 
to annoy my, at that time, to be sister-in-law. No longer sister-in-law, but at that time, to be sister-in-law. So that he would have a mullet in the wedding photos. Because he didn't really like her. And, uh... It wasn't his wedding, it was a different brother's wedding. But, like, he grew out a mullet just to... I did get gigantic, I hosted it. I hosted it the whole time. You think it might be the hill, Mickey? It could be. Oh, Gigantic, I was definitely hosting it, bro. Blue Note, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Welcome in. Yeah, it was hilarious how he grew out a mullet just to, just to spite her. It was funny. Harry, what's up? Harry, I am having a great day. You know, my saying is a day on the farm is a good day. So I'm having an awesome day. Of course. Oh, it didn't pop up for you? That's unfortunate. I know I hit the host button. I know I did. You, you, you hosted it. It's yeah, Stone Cold Brother. Pretty much. <laughs> Which, like I said, you know, at that time she was to be a sister-in-law. Well, she's not a sister-in-law anymore, so... You know, he was right. But yeah, Gigantic, uh, it should be... I know it'll definitely be on their YouTube. I don't know if they keep their VODs on Twitch, but I know it'll be on their YouTube. Because uh, I've watched them back in the past, so I know it'll be there. Uh, for sure. But yeah. You had meetings at Bush State. What? Did you go to Gus's? Because you're right around the corner from it. They probably fed you at Bush Stadium, right? They probably fed you. Never mind. I bet you they fed you at Bush Stadium. Dang. That's crazy, though. Awesome. Right, Philbosaurus Rex? I think he got a haircut, like, the next week, too. Like, after the wedding. But, of course, in all the wedding photos, because we were, like... That brother and I, we weren't, like, in the wedding, but we were, like, ushers. But we still had, like, the fancy suits on and stuff. And, uh... So there's definitely, like, pictures of him with his mullet. So. Yeah. Everybody knew... Oh, next week. Okay. Alright, Blue Note. You must tell me about what you think of it after you go, okay? I'm gonna try not to hype it up too much uh, more for you, but you gotta let me know. Yeah. So, yeah, so we knew the wedding was coming up for a while. So, yeah, he grew it out. <laughs> and it made her so mad. <laughs> it made her so mad the whole time. It was funny. It was very funny. I got, I got more, I could tell a lot, but I won't talk about her too much. Stories there too, chat. Lots of stories. But yeah, I I, I want to see. I gotta I gotta message my brother and be like, yo. Apparently he has video and pictures of the day we tore the farmhouse down or started tearing the farmhouse down. Um, I didn't know that he had pictures and video, but apparently he has them. So I need to see him. I'd like to show you guys. It'd be cool. Now it won't be like the whole destruction of the house because we started on it one day and then so like in our county to get it off the taxes we had to we couldn't just like burn it or tear it down and burn it and like separate out like you know shingles and plaster and stuff and then burn like the wood they wouldn't let us do that so we had to use like roll off dumpsters and we had to prove that it went to the landfill which whatever and Basically, we worked like the first day until we had like our 40 yard dumpster full. And then we went down like, hey, that was a Sunday. We went down on like a Wednesday and did the same thing. And basically, we were going through like two dumpsters a week until we got it done. Uh, it was a lot to do, but it was kind of fun. Kind of fun in a way. Like, one day I was kind of angry down there at, at, at one of my brothers uh, for doing something. And, uh, I just went in the bathroom with a sledgehammer and started breaking stuff. I won't lie. 
it was it was therapy chat you know it was great i wasn't angry after like 10 minutes in the bathroom my hand hurt because i smashed my hand on something but i wasn't angry anymore <laughs> had a good smash therapy you know it was good sometimes you need that in life yeah Residential structure fire just got toned out, chat. We had a commercial structure fire here today, earlier. Interesting stress relief. Sometimes. Well, you see, it was either take it out on my brother I was mad at or take it out on, like, you know, a bathroom sink that we were throwing away. <laughs> I chose the bathroom sink because I didn't want to go to jail. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. That was the whole whole time, though, man, when tearing that house down. It wasn't that much of a house, but you don't realize what all's in a, involved in a house when you until you go to tear it down, you know? Crazy. The only thing I will say, it was a two-story house on the front part of it. We should have got in the house first and cut out the staircase. The staircase was the last thing standing of that entire house. So, lesson learned if I ever tear down another house, I'm taking out the staircase first. A mulch truck burned out? Oh no. It happens. Or trash trucks when they burn? That's crazy too. Anything burning. Anything, really, you know? Have a leak out, chat. It's like 5.30 already, Chad, almost, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know today's going to be a shorter day because of uh, much in the spotlight, but it seems like today has flown by, Chad. Oh, it's an electrical box on the side of the house. It's caught on fire. Society and vital sighting is starting to catch now. Oh, we got an active, like a working fire. Front row. Got a working fire chat. Set up command on the Alpha Division. Let's go. Come on. Pull a uh, pre connect. Let's get her done. I watched too many firefighting videos. Chat. Maybe not enough, actually. Enjoy it. All right. So maybe we'll get this field done, Sarge. Chat. We should. Oh, we should. The hill is really killing us up here, though. I will tell you that much. Oh, that doesn't help either. My tractor maintenance is, like, gone. I didn't think to check that before I took off. Oopsie. That's my bad. Yeah. Yeah. All in the wee-woos. Don't worry, between EMS, supervisors, and fire trucks, they send like 10 units uh, to a fire here, so. Yeah. We had a car fire in our street one time. And whoever called it in, called it in as threatening a structure. Well, it really wasn't. It was threatening another car. And if the other car would have caught, then it would have threatened like the house. But man, they sent, our entire street was fire trucks. And they only used one hose line off one truck. Didn't even hook to the hydrant until the fire was out. Yeah. Oh. Dang, Vigor, or dang, uh, what's your name? Gigantic? That's crazy. Snow runner, maintenance truck, beacons on for safety. Absolutely. Always on. Yeah, Beards Viking, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going today? Welcome in, Raiders. How are y'all doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope y'all are having a good day. Good Tuesday. You do some more landscaping here, don't I, Mickey? Yeah. Needs a little more landscaping. Get some, some dips and stuff. But how's it going? Welcome in. Yeah, a little more. Or a lot more. <laughs> little, lot more, whatever. Goodness. 
two miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Check your repair on your tractor. I bet it's worn down too. I bet it's worn down. Steven 829 cheered Dex 100 at Ghost and for some great job on the showcase today. Couldn't agree more, of, uh, Steven. Thanks for the biddies. Oh, gotcha, gigantic. Gotcha. 85 if you had any guys. Okay. Yeah, Ghost did a great job. Just saying. Cheesy 701 just subscribed. Cheesy, thanks for subbing up. Do appreciate the brand new sub. Welcome to the plot team. Enjoy your chat badge and your emotes. Do appreciate the brand new <laughs> sub. And thanks for that follow as well. Appreciate it. Welcome in. How's it going? Yeah, these edges are not um They're not fun for plowing on the hill. <laughs> That's brutal. That's okay. We are doing well here. We're doing it. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Come on, Bessie. Get out of Sarge's way, chat. Let's go. Maybe not. <laughs> Llama, what's up, dude? How you doing today? Still can't believe they got Luke Combs. Luke Combs. That would have been a great thing to spam the chat with. Terminator would have been so confused. Oh, that would have been. Dang it, chat. Sand Camp was right. Sand posted it, and I, I missed it. I wasn't, yeah, I missed it. Welcome to the flock. I used to say that a lot, didn't I? Yeah, I don't say it as much anymore. Not as much anymore. I did used to say that to every follower, didn't I? Every single one. Lama, I'm doing well, man. I, I had a good day. Enjoyed the spotlight. Been farming since. Good day, man. You know? Good day. Oh, no. Let's try this. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> Up the hill, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Ugh. Double source Rex, if that, if that was actually you, that would be hilarious. Well, gigantic, I'll try to remember to say welcome to the flock more, okay? That's what we used to call y'all, the flock. Because it's like a sheep and the sheep, uh, like a flock. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, man. We used to also have a lot of sheep on farm sim back in the day, too. Like a lot of sheep. It's always big on sheep, especially on 15. Always have a lot of sheep. Just saying. So yeah. The Fent wouldn't make light work of this field. You're not wrong. But we're all out here in like big articulated tractors. It's kinda I don't know, there's something about it, you know? The Fent would just laugh at this, yes. The Fent would definitely laugh at this whole at this whole thing, yes. Most definitely. Wow, Mickey, dang. I ran out of money, dog. I ran out of money landscaping up here, okay? I mean, have you seen the big hill over there? I obviously ran out of money. Just saying. Shots have been fired, chat. I don't know if I'll survive. Dang. Yeah. Savage, chat. Nikki's a savage. 
almost done. Old boss chat. Mm. Yeah, we gotta find something else to do for a little bit. That's fine. I would plant oil seed radish, but they don't count, so. We like our oil seed radish for nitrogen, but, you know, it doesn't matter. We could probably plant grass if we wanted to, actually. Plant grass this time of year, right? Yeah. Sure can. Might do that. Plant our grass field that we wanted. Or if I can answer later. <laughs> sure. I ain't got any money for you. Contact me. <laughs> Don't contact me. Oh, you moved to where your neighbors are farming big acres IRL. That's awesome. Awesome. Have I ever thought about doing a big cotton harvest? Yeah. Uh, we've done a decent sized cotton harvest on this map, but yeah, I don't. There's no harvest that scares me, chat. Does that make sense? There's no harvest in this game that scares me. Oh. Wow. Wow, is it? Yeah, there's. I don't care. There's no harvest in this game that scares me. It's just how much time do we want to take to do it? That's all. Or what mods do we need to grab first, you know? But even if it's stock in-game equipment, there's nothing that, like, scares me. Uh, as long as we have G GPS. GPS is the, like, deciding factor, you know? Does that make sense? Sugar beets don't scare me. No. Whole map of beets? Can we wait till we play a 4X map? <laughs> play a 4X map and do it all in beats? How about that? Wouldn't bother me at all. Might have to call in some help, but it wouldn't bother me, you know? I'd have to, you know... Uh, anybody in chat that has a pulse, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> but it wouldn't bother me, no. Might as well go 16. Is that all? I mean, if you're going to do that big of a map, though, you definitely need some fancy modded. Some special equipment. You know? Old map poplar round bale only. <laughs> Biggest bowl. That doesn't scare me, but I hate that idea. All in taters with a legit 9 meter planter. I mean... Sure. You gonna be here to watch it all? <laughs> There's nothing in this game that scares me. I don't I'll take anything on. I'm crazy like it. It don't matter. It does not matter to me, chat. We've done big harvest of cotton, we've done big harvest of corn, soybeans. I've done it all. Honestly. We've done big popular harvest before on like fifteen or seventeen or something. And doesn't matter. Bring it on. Bring it on. Chat, I once did a full map everything harvest on Farm Sim 13 on Xbox by myself. I took Westbridge Hills and I played it for like a couple, five, six hundred hours just to accumulate money to buy all the land and equipment. And then I harvested every single crop the full map by myself. I did that. Uh, this, yeah. Full map of grass using a riding lawnmower. Well, technically, you ride in this thing, right? <laughs> Bring it on, gigantic. Bring it on, man. That'd be a lot of bailing, but I'm here for it, man. Nothing scares me. I'm, I'm here for it, chat. It's just how much time are y'all going to sit and watch it? That's the real question, you know? Does that make sense? Doesn't bother me what we're doing, chat. Uh, 
plant the entire amount of trees and then cut it all down with chainsaws. I mean, sure. The in game push more. I still think it'd be funny to see like 16 of us out there with those, Mickey. It's just a game of patience. Exactly, Emerald. Exactly. It is. It's a game of patience. And I'm, I'm a pretty patient guy, usually. So. At least I like to think I am, you know? Pretty patient. Oh, yeah. None of it would bother me, honestly, chat. Is what it is. You're down. Oh. All right, chat. Wow. Wow, gigantic. Cool funder is there, dude? Yeah. Um, let's see. Grass? I'll go plant a little grass. I don't really know what else do we have to do on the farm right now. Besides plant our field of grass up there. Not really sure. Can we actually... I don't trust to sneak through the crossing gates. But at the same time, I definitely don't trust myself to cross the tracks. Because this cedar loves... Loves getting stuck on the on the tracks. The problem is I'm oh, I'm gonna hit that thing. I knew it. Did not have come through there. Okay, we made it. Good. 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 All right, now we get to see this bad boy shine, chat. We get to see this bad boy. I saw that the other day, uh, uh, gigantic. I saw that. I saw it in the mods. It made me laugh. I was like, I would never, ever use that. Never once. All right, we want our east-west line. Should be good, unless it's yep doing the broken thing. Okay. One problem with saving lines, by the way, you got to go in and like load them like eighteen times. Once you load them, you're good. Like 18 times, y'all. Um, okay, we are on automatic grasses using fertilizer like crazy. 600 kilograms. Dang. 500. Oh my goodness. All right. And you know, chat, normally I don't shift lines, but I'm the only one. Oops, if I hit the right button. I'm the only one with this cedar because we only have one. Kind of shift our line a little bit. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> it will be okay. All right, we'll clean up the little skip we're gonna have there later. Did you notice, Chad? I was just able to drive up the hill like it's nothing. Out of dice, right? This tractor's lit. <laughs> Am I sure there's anything behind this tractor? No. No, there's nothing behind this tractor. <laughs> nothing at all. Uh, Sarge, what do we want to plant next time? What do we want to plant? Because we've done, like, we don't need wheat. Wheat would be the only, like, requirement that we need. We have almost a million corn. Wow. That'll all be sold too. I don't know what we need to plant. Probably soybeans, right? Just for money. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Probably soy. Because you know chat. You, you know. You know chat. Y'all already know. I don't even need to say it. Don't even need to say it. Oh yeah. That's probably what we'll do. I had to guess with this thing's crazy 100 foot 100 feet there you go ghost good money and beans there is good money and beans 
For sure. For sure. So, I don't think I'm going to that. We're okay. Alright, that's right. I know it looks like we have money uh, sitting up there with 4.1, but 3 million of that is a loan. We want to buy a cow building. That's what this grass is for, is to have cows, which means we got to buy a moor. We need to buy a tether. We need to buy a rake. Um, that's about it there. But we need, you know, that equipment. We need about a million dollars just for the building and the cows. Give or take a little. Uh, so that's going to get expensive really fast uh, for us as well. So... We're definitely going to have a few costs, but it'll be okay eventually. The cows will make his money back, save us a lot of fertilizer, or at least some. Uh, for right I now, I guess... Your phone, you're so slow. Do what, Sarge? Wait, what? <laughs> Say that again. Why am I so slow? Because I'm... I was, I'm, I was joking. <laughs> I know you are. I know you are, because I'm seeding. <laughs> you're going fast because your cedar's in the air. <laughs> you're waving your hands in the air like you just don't care. Or something, right? Mm-hmm. Say, I'm sorry, just playing in highway gear. No, his cedar was in the air, guys. Don't don't let him fool you. <laughs> don't let him fool you. He said, you slow. Hey, dude. Why are you going so slow? <laughs> you want to race, Sarge? Bing bong! Low underscore this cheered dex 500 for being slow. <laughs> low vis, thanks for the bits. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Race, Sarge, for pink slips. I mean, they're the farm's tractors. They're not my tractor, not Sarge's tractor. They're the farm's know how that would work in the game but sure i mean i i think this tractor would win against anything else in the game even semi trucks so it's, it comes down to can i control it that's the problem. need to be on the wheel setup for that chat <laughs> which is like not well it's plugged in but the wheels doing its thing where it has to be unplugged and plugged back in gotta love it I said Bing Bong, you keep saying I don't know what that what's your reference in there, Gigantic, I'm sorry. Bing Bong. Look at that dirt chat. Sorry. I need to be nice. And mean. Hey, we're gonna get this done in like three swipes, okay, Sarge? Just saying. Yes we are. <laughs> three swipes That's and done. And you're running the uh, the wide one, right? Yeah, I'm on the 100 footer. Yours should be, what's yours, like 70? 60? Something like that. What's your GPS, what's say? 75. You? Okay. Uh, guys, I have not seen a lot of Disney movies, so if it's a Disney movie, uh, I've never seen it, to be honest. Of course, I'm not running GPS because there's a little bit off oh. to the side that I'm having to pick up. Yeah, no, you're good. Bing bong, the imaginary friend. I chat uh, one of the mods or VIPs uh, exclamation point airplane because I don't. Nope. We've only talked about the dirt. Okay. Mod or VIP with the airplane, yeah. There it is. It's an imaginary character in the movie. Okay. Oh, goodness. Nitrogen is for it. Yes. Uh, Ghost, I will say, the dirt does look really good. You know? They did do a good job with the dirt in this game. Okay? I'm not, like, making fun of you. It's it's a thing. I genuinely do. I agree with you. You know? I do agree. Just saying. Not trying to be mean, but, like, you know. Yeah. Not trying to be. I swear. Promise. 
It is good looking dirt. Let's go, chat. All right. All right. Do it. So we're going to get this grass planted, and then I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, we'll be ready to jump back on here. I might be jumping on stream tomorrow night. I'm not sure yet. Because y'all were... Y'all were, you know, giving me stuff yesterday about doing a short stream today. So maybe a little stream tomorrow, but probably I'll be back Thursday, you know. It's a dirty job. But someone had to do it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'll probably just be back on Thursday. No, not tomorrow night. I go to farm tomorrow, and I'm usually pretty tired when we come home. and Just want to kind of, you know, chill. I'm just saying. Dirt is life. Yeah, for some people it is, right? Hey, Cruz set at 62 and you raise the cedar and you just, meow. You gone. Thank you. Uh, Sarge, I'll be able to get it all. As long as you kept a pretty uh, consistent line there. Uh, I should be good. So, you know. No, I'll be, you'll be good enough most of the way, I think. Okay. Yeah, no, I should be good, Sarge. Oh, except for a little bit, maybe all the way down. To okay, that's fine. I'll clean it up. Or if you want to run down there, I don't care. Uh, Zero, what's going on, man? How you been? Long time no see. Hope all is well. How uh, How's everything going? Now, there's a good chance you well, I can go down there. I can always, I'll turn around. It's fine. Not a big deal, Sarge. I don't really know. Yep. Hey, left's here. Hi, left. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, left. How's it going? Bye, dirt. Bye, dirt. Yep, uh, that was, um, yep, I think we got ghost on that one. Left, I think you got ghost on that one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ghost, I'm sorry you got, like, actually scared. At least I don't have the knocking ones. The knocking ones, uh-uh. They get me every time. Trent, thanks for the uh, the biddies there uh, on the air horns. Appreciate them. The knocking ones are awful. I can't I can't do the knocking ones. There's a, I know there's a really good one on the sound alerts one too. I can't. <laughs> Definitely can't do that one. I left you. Just welcome. <laughs> I left. Good good day. Howdy. <laughs> oh, man. Not okay, chat. Not okay. I left. All right. If I was planting much more grass, man, fertilizer would be a real concern for me. Like, this is just absolutely chewing through the fertilizer. Putting down 555 right now. A pretty good amount. Pretty good amount, I think. It's a good day when you get multiple people, yeah. It sure is. Zero, just, you know, living life, man. One day at a time, you know. Not much, uh, just, uh,. How much is really new in my life? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Old man, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate them, sir. Who cool, appreciate them? Yeah, nothing really uh, big and exciting going on here. Nothing I'm aware of, anyway. Is there a hype train chat? Because I don't see it. No. I don't see one either. Okay, I don't even see the pop. Did the pop up thing pop up or no? Yeah, for me. No, I don't see that. Me left and uh, old man did one. 
All right, Mickey, we'll catch you later, man. Have a great night. Thanks for coming in and helping us with the harvest. One of your trucks got rear-ended in St. Louis today. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. I don't see it, chat. There is a Ghost hype. in for some cheered X400 refreshing. Hype, hype. Uh, and Ghost, thank you for the 400 bits. I do appreciate it. Hey, I see it now, chat. We and got a hype you. train, chat. Woo well. <laughs> I didn't see it before. I couldn't see it. Okay, there is a hype train. I see it now, though. Uh, thank you, chat. Ghost, thanks for the 400 uh, biddies. I appreciate those. Very kind of you. All right. Yep, Mickey, we'll catch you. Chat, I don't really know what we have to do on the farm, honestly. Oh, my God. I can't. Okay. I got to get used to driving this tractor, chat. This thing just, it flies. It absolutely flies. Oh, look at that. Okay, good timing. Good timing. Just take a minute here, you know. Just take a minute. Let the train go by, and I'll have all the time I need. I'm not going to try that, though. I'm just going to cross. It's going to get stuck. I know it is. Oh, apparently my stream PC has a video drivers to install. Okay. Did those on the gaming PC earlier today, so. Come on. It, it, this will get me across eventually. That's for chat. Really? Gotcha. Texting and driving is bad left. Yes. Yes, it is. Or is. All right. Train tracks and these big seaters don't really get along well. Just throwing that out there. Uh, Sarge, so when do we haul corn? Isn't that like a summer thing? June usually. I feel like. June or yeah, probably June. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Uh, hopefully, nobody got hurt in the uh, accident. They're left. Hopefully. I got one too. Have I heard about the people convoy? Uh, zero. I don't know anything about it. I've never heard. Never heard about it. What's what is it? You like that railroad crossing? That was good, right, chat? Yeah. RZ, no, no injuries? Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Nothing else. Let's, uh, let's see. I don't have anything to sell. Pandas Coplugger, JDX 500. Clogger, thanks for the 500. And Ghost, thanks for the gift sub. Do we still have wood chips? Yeah, probably. January. January, Sarge. Uh, thanks for the yeah the gift sub and the five hundred. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, zero. I don't know anything about it, man. Don't know anything about it. I live in my own little world over here, you know. I don't. Uh, I say January. Yeah. That's a good idea, Sergeant. Get them sold. Get them sold. That part. Oh, you were talking to the driver when it happened. Oh, I bet it did sound bad. That's terrible. That's terrible, left. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, we shouldn't manage our chickens. Yeah. Uh, You got a tractor, Sarge, or I can run up there with something. Actually, I'll run up there. I think it's sitting by the thing up there, right? It, yeah, we're sitting by the... It's still sitting here at the tracks. Okay, I'll run up there with the fast tractor. No, uh, the... the uh, is it on something? Load. Yeah, it's on the end load. Oh, 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 okay. Left it parked here. Um. So where's our highest price? The train. Of is course, it? it's the train. Yeah, it's the train. Why wouldn't it be the train? one complaint I have with this game chat one of a couple 
why is the highest price always the train? I know we talked about this the other day. Um, but like, why? Why? Always the train. There was some color. I bet. Okay, that's fine, Zero. I'll check it out, man. Uh, don't expect a reply, because I don't reply to DMs, but you know. <laughs> I'll definitely check it out. Yep, we'll use the train, unfortunately, because it's it's worth enough difference. Like, yeah, it's it'll be worth the. We'll sell the train. We just gotta wait for the silly thing to. Wherever it's at, it just went by, so it's probably gotta go around again. It's okay. Oh well, that's okay. No, fill the source tracks. I, yeah, the highest price is always at the train, so you'll use the train. Yes, I think that's what you're getting at. Right. Uh, left, we're actually just about done, man. It's uh, about 6 o'clock. Uh, it is just about quitting time, to be honest. So we're just going to sell wood chips, then we'll probably call it. <laughs> right? That's true. That is true. Yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to we're gonna call it a night here once the... Uh, look at these wood chips sold. I think we have about a million. Right, Sarge? Just yeah. over a million, okay. Yeah, so we'll get these sold out, and then uh, we'll be calling it a night. Actually, did you unload in the train building, or no? Mm -mm. Nope. Should be able to just unload right into the train, right? Y you betcha. All right. Well, especially if you raise that thing up in the air, it should work. Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, you did this the other day with Troy, didn't you? Mm-hmm. No, the sell anything has a dedicated price, so you would knock it the same as the train, though. No. Unfortunately. Okay, I might have to get closer. I think you're going to need to get a lot closer, yeah. Drive that bad boy up in there. There you go. And just like that, it's going to fill me up. Let's go. Yeah, we'll get these sold then, uh, chat. I'm going to call it a night, and I'll be back on Thursday at noon, normal time on Thursday. I don't think I have anything else going on, so I'll be here. I will be here. Y'all can't get rid of me that easy or something. Something like that. That'd be a couple loads here, train. Not a big deal. I wish the horn was louder, too, though. <laughs> the horn is not loud enough. It's kind of quiet. That's okay, I guess. All right. Go for that last car. Last car that I can fill up anyway that is. Not the last car. You know what I mean. You can pile some wood chips right there in the center of that thing, right? All right. I think that was from zero, right? All right, zero. Thank you. I'll check it out, man. I will check it out later. Uh, for sure. Alright. Let's go. This will be a pretty, uh, fast process here. The baby train horn. I mean, train horns are supposed to be loud, so you hear them. 144,000, so, uh, See our $18,000 bonus, though, chat, because of our environmental number. Um, our environmental score is 91 right now total, or like our average. So that's good. We get a we get a good bonus. That's why we uh, we held on to these the way till winter is why we held on to them. Yeah. I think the bell's louder than the train, than the horn. The bell on the crossing gate. Crossing garden. Yeah. I think it's louder than the train. It's kind of funny if you ask me. All right, Sarge, I'm in route. Ready. All right. Now the question, chat. 
what am I about to go make the family for dinner? That's the big question of the day, chat. It's that time, you know? And as I've said before, and obviously I am joking, I don't understand these people. They need food every day. I don't, I don't get it. Obviously a joke, but yeah. There's still some leftovers in the fridge they could eat, but likelihood of that happening is probably slim to, slim to none. They had to eat leftovers yesterday, so, you know, they can't do that two days in a row. Pizza? That always sounds good to me. Lasagna? I don't think I have anything to make lasagna. I mean, pizza sounds like a pretty solid choice since it's kind of cold out. pH would be your, uh, it's basically lime. That's the easy way to do it. Pizza's always a good option. Needs more cow. <laughs> Don't I have a cowbell emote? Hang on. Uh, do I have a cowbell emote still? Yeah. There you go, ghost. There's, there's your cowbell. <laughs> yeah, try you have it too. <laughs> Got it. Good old Seth drums. Uh, I watched Stupid. a bunch of him. When did I watch him? Yesterday, I watched a bunch of him. Yeah, that would have been yesterday. That train's going too fast, too furious. All right, come on back now. That's 300,000. Same. Or sorry, 600. Dirt sounds pretty good at this one. I don't know what I'll make them. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm down for like a frozen pizza, probably. But we'll see. I don't know. All right, back and forth. For the record, yes, you could do this down south on the map, but the train does not reappear nearly as fast as it does right here. So you'd have to wait for, you have to wait forever for the train to come back. Uh, so we like doing it here cause it's way faster. Mozza sticks, like mozzarella, like cheese sticks. That sounds good. Those are pretty good on the pizza, on the pizzeria. Yeah. Traditional St. Louis meal that we, we I always called a St. Louis meal. We used to do uh, toasted ravioli, which is a very St. Louis thing. And uh, mozzarella cheese sticks and like a good salad. Always a good meal. Haven't done that in a long time. But it comes some process to sell. Yeah, it kind of is. That's why, you know, once every three years, it would be nice if the train wasn't the high price, you know, but the train's always the high price. So this is what it is. Oh, uh, gooey butter for dessert. Yes, blue coat. Oh, but lemon gooey butter. Mom would always make a lemon gooey butter cake. Way better than regular gooey butter cake. Just throwing it out there. Although the chocolate peanut butter gooey butter was pretty good too. Not going to lie. Yeah, that one was good. But the, the lemon, oh. So good. Although I'm a sucker for like lemon stuff, you know. I like... Uh, I like lemon, lemon stuff. Right. You still One more go around. Okay. Yep. That was that was like uh, like my nephew's birthday party every year. He would always ask for like the toast ravioli cheese sticks. And one year he asked for baked Alaska, and we made it for him. That was an adventure, making everybody, uh, we made like little baked Alaskas for everybody. Yeah, lemon gooey butter's great. Actually, really, really good. You know? Yep, this is the problem that I have with the train always being the highest price. It, it's just like, yeah. And then when all your grain's down south, it can take a while, you know? It is a gooey butter. It's a type of cake from uh, St. Louis area. It's kind of a regional thing. Fantastic if you've never had it. Not healthy at all, but 
Golly, is it good. <laughs> I haven't had a good gooey butter cake in a long time, actually. I had some, like, okay ones from a grocery store, but, like, there's nothing better than homemade, you know? Nothing, nothing better. Nothing beats it. I wonder if my, I bet you my brother Georgia knows that recipe. I bet you he does. I'll have to ask him sometime. Yeah, I bet he has it. I would totally make one someday. Totally do it. I'll have to invest. <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's like one of those things. It's very like St. Louis. I don't know if you can get them like everywhere. Just like toasted ravioli. Most people don't have a clue what I'm talking about when I say that. This is a very St. Louis-y thing. Uh, you empty, Sarge? I am empty. All right. And there's none in the other one, right? No. All right. Roger that. Out of here. We're off to see the wizard. Or something, chat. Not really, but you know. You know what I mean? All right, another 90 plus. That bonus is like way worth it, by the way. And really, we're not doing anything like crazy or special or anything to get the bonus. The only thing we're not doing is we're not really like tilling that much, you know? We're trying to run minimal till, which I know we plowed, but that was because it was corn. It was a whole thing, you know? It was a whole thing, chat. All righty, y'all. You haven't seen gooey butter stuff for Yeah, find a recipe and make it from scratch. Absolutely. It's it's definitely better to make it from uh make it from scratch. But I believe it calls for like cake. we always use a cake mix blue note from like like Pillsbury or something, like a box cake mix. And instead of using like a white cake, we always use the lemon. That's where our lemon would come from. Would be the lemon cake, actually. And then the regular part, like the gooey part was always the same. But we would use a lemon cake instead and oh too good all right uh sarge thanks for farming along trent thanks for hanging out i'll talk to you guys uh possibly later i don't know i got tv tonight with dad so i'll be back later all righty well i'll talk toodles. to you then those of you watched on youtube have a great rest of your day and as always uh toodles